using pattern option in Adobe Illustrator CS6. Hello there. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use pattern option in Adobe Illustrator CS6. We have the Illustrator application open here. Now we are going to draw a flower for pattern. Let's select the ellipse tool from the toolbox. Let's create a circle shape by pressing shift key on your keyboard and drag the mouse. Select the pen tool. Let's draw a petal shape. Now select the Rotate tool from the toolbox. See here is an anchor point. Now drag it onto middle of the circle. Press and hold the Alter key of your keyboard and rotate the petal as you want. Now by pressing Ctrl D, copy the petal. As you can see, now the flower of the pattern is already done. So here I have a single design with which I want to make the whole pattern. Traditionally this will be a painful process. I could of course duplicate this design a few times and hope things line up. But 9 times out of 10 pages it just won't tile properly. Now with your design selected, heading up to the object menu, down to pattern and then make start the pattern creation process. As we can see, we already have a simultaneously tiled pattern, but this is only the beginning. This pattern will allow customizing a pattern exactly the way you want it to look. First of all, it is always a good idea to name your pattern. Next you can choose how the pattern is laid out. Grid is the default layer. but you can choose brick by row, brick by column, hex by column, hex by row. If you don't like any tile options, the pattern tile tool at the top of this panel allow you to edit tile type by just in the nodes that surround the tile edges. You also have a few options when it comes to adjusting size of your pattern. The second option is scale the pattern based on your art. This is activated by this checkbox right here. When this is enabled, you can select design and you scale your object. The rest of the pattern scale with it. This also opens up the option to add horizontal and vertical spacing between your objects. Let's go to increase it to around 50 pixel on all sides. With this done, I'm going to duplicate my design by making sure this is selected and then with my alter option key held down, drag it to a new location. 
Now you can see pattern automatically updates to reflect the new change. Now I can change the color of this design. Change the opacity to get the result we are looking for. Now down to the bottom of the pattern option panel, there is a few options regarding how you view the pattern creation process. Here you can choose how many copies are visible. whether the copies are deemed and how much they are deemed and we can show the tile edge and show swatch bounds. The tile edge is the shape that the pattern falls and in this case it is the hexagon and the swatch bound is the active area of our pattern. Now that the pattern is complete, pressing the done option at the top you will see. Save it at the swatches panel or use it on your design. Now delete the design. Let's create an artboard to use the pattern design. Now fill it with the gradient. But now if I select my created design, it replaces the gradient on here. In your appearance panel, you have found the add new fill option. Now select this option. Once this is done, selecting our pattern will stack it right on top of the initial gradient. So that was all about pattern creation process. Thank you.